Hello guys and welcome back to another video and this is going to be the start of a new series basically explaining how to run a vanilla Minecraft server with command blocks only so you don't have to use plugins um, which means you don't have to do all the customization and sorting out the permissions and things like that so the first thing you want to do is obviously I'm just using a flat world so I don't have terrain in the way but you'll want to find a nice big empty area where you can set your world spawn so if I just set it here, set world spawn I've set it to 0, 100, 0 just because it's nice and centred and um, now that you've done that, this is where all of the redstone for your server will be if you don't put it in here, the chunks for the redstone won't be loaded and therefore the command blocks that you put down won't work so what you want to do is give yourself a command block give game motion command block and you don't have to have that there but you'd want to um, make a clock and this will basically run a bunch of commands um, for when a player joins so in this tutorial we're just going to sort out when a player first joins your server um, what happens to them where they get teleported so when they first spawn because this is the world spawn here within I think it's 25 blocks they will um, they'll spawn within 25 blocks of this block here so in order to make a clock you'll have to do a fast clock so set block tilde 1 tilde tilde or you could just get the coordinates um, redstone underscore block set block tilde minus 1 tilde tilde stone and then you want to put down a redstone block okay I need to swap these around sometimes I don't know why but it depends on which way you're facing redstone underscore block okay so now if you try and destroy this it will just replace itself almost instantly that's how fast it's going and for when a player joins obviously they'll spawn here so what you want to do is test 4 at A so that's all the players and you want to do a radius so radius equals 25 so that's testing for all the players within 25 block radius of this command block and just so you can edit it do name equals not and then your name so in this case I do game motion and then you'll want to put a resin comparator so obviously because it's found the cool cow who is in spectator mode somewhere um, it's giving an output so once it's done that you know that a new player has joined the game because they're within 25 blocks of this command block you can increase it to 30 just in case um, just in case something weird happens and they spawn outside of that area so then when a player joins this gets powered which powers this command block here so what you'd want to do is um, before you TP them, if you ever want to do any um, like messages, welcome messages, you would need to do it before you teleport them. So what you'll do here is to do a custom join message, which we'll also be doing in this tutorial. You'll do slash tell raw. Oops, I've got caps lock on. Slash tell raw, and that basically sends a message to whatever player, a JSON message. But um, uh, the JSON messages can be quite confusing. So if I do a simple um, join message you can use this or you can use like this which is a bit more confusing uh, like that where you put the text in here or you can just do it simply like this and this is the simpler way but you need to remember how to do colors so for colors you do um, I can't remember whether this is backslash or forward slash but oh well it's this U zero zero capital A seven and then whatever color code it is. So you have one two three four five six seven eight nine zero A B C D E F. Um now for now I know some of the codes. I know that uh, nine is a blue, six is gold, B is aqua, D is pink, A is green, C is red, and four I think is dark red and the others I can't really remember. I know 7 and 8 are dark grey I think, grey, light grey and dark grey. But anyway, for now, if you want to make it make your server look like it has plugins, you can simply, like on Mindplex, do this. Join, 
So then it's if I quickly copy and paste that, it now says that as you see it tells to everyone on the server that message there. So now it looks like a, as if a plugin's done it, which makes it look a bit more professional. Now if we do six for bold, um for to tell who's joined the game, um you'll need to use the actual um the bit I showed you before with the proper JSON. Um but if you just want to send a simple message uh, like welcome to the server or welcome to whatever your server name is. Oops, I forgot to press enter. Seven six slash u zero zero a seven six welcome to the server. And we'll need to do at a radius of thirty. So now as soon as someone joins, um they will get sent a message um, welcome to the server and you can also give them potion effects or other things like that that are helpful um, to the new players so you might want to tell them how to play or the rules or something like you could also add as you see now it's just updated that command block tell raw at a i equals 30 slash u 0079 rules slash u zero zero eight seven six one um then you can do like no spamming and then to have a new line you do this n so instead of the u it's now an n and if you do um slash u zero zero eight seven six you have to do the colours oh dear uh, no reefing weather clear you can also shove on top of this weather clear and then the weather will be clear forever it would never rain again so now it will tell you the rules. If I uh, tp da cool cow 100, 100, 100, and then I tp him to 0, 100, 0, it says welcome to the server. 1, no spamming. 2, no griefing. You could do a slash n there, tp him away, tp him back. It now says no spamming. I forgot to put the 2. And that's just the basic join message. And once you've done that, you can just shove on a rest and repeater, and then you want to TP at a radius of 30, and um, then you'll want to, once you've built your spawn or something, if we build a simple spawn that's over 30 blocks away, so let's just build a spawn about here. Very simple get the coordinate of here, minus 50 to 105. Then if you TP everyone there, so if we TP to cool cow away, TP him back, everyone now gets teleported here. So that's just basically a simple join function, so everyone gets teleported to the right place. And it's just simple for it to work. Now if you want um, to uh, explain to the server um, well not really explain, notify the server who's joined for the first time you would need to use the proper JSON. Now there is programs online that can um, generate this for you. I can quickly go over to it now and show you what it looks like and how it works and um, show you how to make it work. Once you're on the internet, you want to type into the search bar Minecraft JSON Generator. And you want to go to the site MinecraftJSON.com, which should be the top link. And now on here, you can do multiple things while well, the website can generate multiple different multiple commands for you to use. So for example there's tell raw, execute, title, subtitle, sign using the give command, but this is slightly buggy because it hasn't worked for me yet. Um, sign with using block data which has worked, and a book. The book is actually quite helpful for displaying things like rules and how to play um, mini games on your server. So we'll be using the tell raw just because we're just displaying a uh, command, or not a command, text for the player or the user. Um, if you click add text, you can now choose between raw, scoreboard objective, selector and page book slash sign line. But this is only for the book templates.
book or sign template. So since we're using raw for now, um, to start with, we'll be doing join, just to show that it's a join message. And we're going to make this blue so that it fits with the other messages we have. And you want to make sure there's a space afterwards. Add text. Now if you add another text, and this time it's a selector. The reason we added a space before is because the selector, you can't add spaces to this. So the selector is basically at A, at P, at R, and at E. And we're going to be using at A with a radius of 30. I'm going to leave it no colour just so you can easily see who the player is because the text will be white. If you click add text, here, down here is the preview of what it will look like for now. So it will say join, and then there's a space, and then it will be the player's name. But right now it doesn't really tell you what's happening. So you want to do add text, and another space has joined for has joined the server for the first time and if you make this gold it makes it look nice add text and now as you see here join player name has joined for the first time and now up here you see it says percent s at p and tell raw the percent s is the uh, json part of this and we want to change that p to at a so then it tells the entire server. Once you've done that, you can copy this command and go over to Minecraft. You can go and paste the command um, into your world. Now, you'll want to make sure that it's next to welcome to the server and no spanning and no griefing. I'm just going to move this command block over to the side because how this works is um, this block in the middle is powered first and then these two are powered after this first one. So if we paste our command in, we have it here, click OK. Now, in order for us to test this, we need to copy this block. We want to, because it's copied, we want to clone it here, and then we remove our name, press Enter. Here we go, join game motion, and it tells you the UUID because we're in vanilla, has joined the server for the first time. Join, welcome to the server, that's sent to only us, and rules has sent also only to us. Now if we clone that block, we should be able to fly back. Perfect. Now we can delete that and keep it like that for never, well, forever, because uh, it works perfectly. Now in the next episode, we'll be covering uh, spawn protection once you've built your spawn, because... The only places that have proper spawn protection is the spawn chunks, and the spawn chunks are here where the redstone is, and it won't be in your actual spawn where people see. So in the next episode we'll be covering how to make sure your spawn's fully protected and people can't grief it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.